Dune. Dune. So the Arizona story. <laughs> Sorry. So wow, Dennis villain. Nah, why? You know, I should have practiced it before. The guy who directed the Arrival, which if you have not seen, yes, we're not going to have any spoilers for. It. Go watch it. Amy Adams. Uh, oh, absolutely, really, brilliant. Yeah. Uh, brilliant. Jeremy Renner. Um, Amy Adams. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Jeremy Renner. I didn't see that again. I don't remember. All I remember is Amy Adams and the Aliens. Really good. <laughs> she yeah, yeah. is so so good in that movie. Um, yeah. So he has been tasked with directing Dune, and it's apparently. Um, done and releasing. I think there was a big kerfuffle, but it's still going to be releasing. Um, it might not be releasing simultaneously on HBO Max. I think he gets like three weeks of theater first or something. But it's this book. Okay. And it's going to cover the first half of the book. Oh, um, not the whole thing. Correct. Which. So which, there's going to be a sequel. We hope it's Warner Brothers, and this is the uh, same company that told us we were getting a solo cyborg movie, a Ben Affleck Batman film, and a Flash right. movie like what three years ago. So, right. But let's be positive. It looks the trailer dropped. I don't know months ago, and we just have been so engrossed in our superheroes we forgot to talk about this thing. And this thing looks epic. And I'm not gonna lie, well, it's like. When I read the book, I think I, yeah, I know what's happening there. And I really can't say. <laughs> yeah. And it's, it's so, funny. All I got to say is um, James Gunn gave a warning with the Suicide Squad. He said, don't get attached to any of these characters. Oh, and I will give yeah. the same advice with Dune that I give to anyone who is about to watch Game of Thrones for the first time. Yeah, don't, don't get, get too, too close to any character. They're either going to betray you or they're going to die. Hmm. So, um, yeah, and the cast for this <clears throat> just it's looks so extraordinary. It's so funny that you, you, you mentioned Game of Thrones while talking about this. It's definitely making me want to read the book. Um, it's on my list now. Um, oh, yeah. And I recall watching, um, because this is not the first time someone has attempted to make a movie um, out of this book. Um, not even the second the original, time. original. <laughs> was released in 1984 and is uh, one of those that I remember being fascinated with being a child that grew up on Star Wars. And um, what's ironic there is that I'm fairly certain the success of Star Wars is what prompted the original production, David Lynch's production of this movie. But it's David Lynch. Right? It's very circular, it's right? Very David Lynch. And that is... so. I love that movie, but not as a representation of the novel. Let me just say this, and this is why I'm going to get back to why you mentioned Game of Thrones. And there's another new show that we have attempted to get started on that just dropped on Netflix called Shadow and Bone that mm -hmm. I'm interested yes. in. It has, it has caught my interest to a degree, but here's the trick with settings and locales and epic storylines like this that are set in a world or in a setting where there are entire cultures and populations and sort of countries and the backgrounds and the backstories of all these places. And they very quickly drop you into the middle of a situation where there are, there are apparently decades, if not centuries of history there and you have to keep up very rapidly very quickly and try to figure out okay well these people are apparently they they don't like these folks over here and that country that they well, just prefer to you apparently no one's like right and this whole world building aspect to it and dune is thick with that um yep. with different casts and different kind of levels of uh you know cultural sort of settings and, and different, you know, there are people that um, sort of are royalty, right? You can't use well, the cast. That's so, where the house, I exactly. swear, if we asked George R. R. Martin, he would say, when, when you talk about them having the houses, I know it was based on old England and the war of the roses, but right. with, um, with, with, when you read doom and when you read game of the a game of Thrones, a song of ice and fire or fire and ice, I can never remember which one it is the whole series uh, in uh, Song of Fire and Ice, 
each chapter is specifically narrated by one of the characters. And in Dune, yeah. uh, different parts are from the perspective of different characters. So that's how they ease you into the world. It's like you're okay. hearing it from that. And, all, and it's the world is seen through that character's perspective. Right. Uh, Game of Thrones does. And actually, the show did that very well. It starts you in Winterfell. And in a very few scenes, it gives you a good idea. Winterfell, winter's coming. Winterfell, we are tough up here. It's cold. Life's rough. Yeah. And then it introduces you to the, um, you know, the, and then each little part. And then it brings in more and more. So I don't know about this <clears> new show, but the fact that they're dividing this into two movies is probably the best thing. And it has all the little things, too. I mean, this shot here that's been sitting up here for a while is uh, it doesn't capture it as much in the um, in the still, but you see how he's got kind of like this ghostly line around him, and that's what yeah. and David Lynch did the best he could with eighties special effects. But that's sure. supposed to be these shields. And for instance, if oh, you're yeah. having a knife fight with someone with one of these shields, you have to push the knife through slowly. If you try to stab him real quick, the shield will stop it, mm. and bullets will stop. Well, I think they right. guns were. This is supposed to be set so far in the future of humanity and technology is um, like taboo. It's very interesting. If you read the book, they really don't hit on that okay. Lynch move. Do that. I love the idea of, a, of, of an inertia, a, an inertia sensitive shield. It's something yeah. that will come up in the Dresden files at some point. This is not um, a spoiler. So those yeah, shields? The, the fact that you can have a force field that allows you to still essentially have social contact with people and sort of be intimate with someone. Mm -hmm. But, but it's turn it sensitive on to... It, yeah. Right. Well, I mean, it's sensitive to the velocity, right? Mm -hmm. But that here's something, something is funny traveling. about it. It vibrates. And as such, and this is not a spoiler, this is just a fact of the world that I'm sure they'll tell you about in the movie. Yeah. You can't use it on Dune. You can't use uh -huh. it in the desert because it attracts the worms. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. So the... Um, uh, I can't remember what they're called. So uh, this trailer and, you know, just watch the trailer. Again. Not, this isn't for you, Scott. You just saw it. I meant for anyone viewing this. If you haven't seen this. I hope it inspires you to go yeah. take another look and start getting excited for this movie. I know well, some people but like this cast, like this guy is Duke the Lito. cast. The cast. Oh, my God. When this was announced, I was um, when the trailer dropped. Actually, when it was announced, the cast was yeah. I was reading the book and I was like, I would. I'd be reading about a character and I would put down the book and grab IMDb and say, well, who's playing the Duke in this? And then it's like freaking Oz uh, It's perfect. Oscar Isaac. Yeah. I can't so read a page of Jason this book without Momoa, picturing him. Dave Batista, Josh Brolin, Oscar Isaac, Stellan Skarsgård, Javier Bardem. Yeah, he's, they have not shown Skarsgård in full. He's playing the Baron Harkonnen and... Okay. Ooh, David Lynch grossed him up good. <laughs> so I'll <laughs> should see what they do. Um, yeah. The 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 ships. I've always they uh, Herbert does not. He just describes them as being very <clears throat> large. Right. Um, the and ships Zendaya. are run by the the spice um, the guys the um, I can't remember what they call them, but they um, they are have so much spice that they've almost become like an alien creature of some kind. Right. Um, I, I do. I vaguely remember that the effect of the spice, right. And again, I haven't yeah. read the book. They had to live I'm in these tanks. And and they're, these, these fragments they're of memory the only from the 1984 film. Interstellar because okay. they're able to navigate the hyper light speeds using the spice. Yeah. Okay. Their spice abilities. Cause spice gives you premonition. I'm sure gotcha. they'll explain all that in the movie too. Right. Um, but some of these things like these are the big, I think it's the, I want to, it's not this, it's the something guild, like navigators or something like that. Uh, okay. You know what? I'll put up a snarky credit or a snarky caption that tells me what it is later. Um, here you mentioned Dave Batista, and I, I also, it's been so long. I can't remember this. This character was, th his character was Sting. And that's um, right. The David Lynch one. And, and the, he yeah, is and the kind Lynch. of the Baron's um, strong arm guy. Um, with designs, and I believe he um, wants control over Dune um, because what happened is, um, well, I don't know. It's not in the very beginning. They explain that um, the Atreides, House Atreides, uh, some sort of deal with House Harkonnen 
gets possession of Dune, which is the most valuable planet in the galaxy. Then the because of the universe. spice. Because of this, it's the only place to get the spice. And the spice right. is the only way to travel through space. So if the spice ever <clears> disappears, <throat> all of these planets would be completely separated from each other and in time forget that they exist. So it's really cool to think because the technology is completely dependent on some natural resources. So yeah. many, so many global climate change parallels in a book written in the sixties, you will, your mind will be boggled. <laughs> um, and this well, is my favorite casting far and away. The <clears throat> dude's name is Duncan Idaho. He's the sword master, the uh, protector of the Duke and a bit of a drunk. <laughs> Okay. Um, he, um, is, uh, this is a brilliant casting. Jason Momoa as yeah. Duncan Idaho is perfection. I was um, actually trying to remember. So, um, the, the actor, um, playing Atreides, um, Paul, Paul Atreides, um, t Timothy, Timothy Chamolet, Chamolet, Chamolet. Yeah. Chimelet, My wife is Chimelet, If she Chimelet. were to watch this, she would actually. Well, I was trying to remember what I'd seen him in, and there was a, was it, he a just little in known, um, that Little Women the, the, remake or something. He was in something that made he, him very. He played. And I'm gonna have to. Look, I'm gonna have to IMDb this um, very quickly. I'm gonna have to bring his page up here oh. on IMDb uh, real quick because he played. Um, there was a, a, a probably a, a little known film called The King. Um, and I'm pretty sure I watched this like on Amazon Prime at some point where he played the young King, uh, King Henry V. Um, oh, yeah, I'm sure he's, he's been in. He's, he's hot and it was shit an right excellent, now. excellent movie. Excellent yeah. film. Um, if you but there's only, the, before we let you go, before we go, <clears throat> there is one character I believe most of us are excited for more than any other. And it's actually numerous of these. This, mm -hmm. and I can't believe they showed it in the trailer, yeah. is the freaking worm, <laughs> the sand worm, the spice worm, and they are such a major part, and wow, I remember even in the Lynch one, these things were kind of amazing, but if you right. watch the end of this trailer, they're exactly as described in the book. It's just If you this grew up in the 80s and saw the David Lynch film, that's what you remember, right? These yeah. giant worms. Um, mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot. Looking forward to it. And, yep. <clears throat> so, well, 